Right, okay, so today, um, as you can see behind me, um, just because new studio, we're just going to roll it out today. Um, we actually, I don't think we've done a session like this for a while. Um, we're just going to row through um, the whole thing. Um, just one continuous workout, okay? Um, what we'll do in, while we're doing it uh, is every fourth minute, or every fifth minute, basically, I should say, um, we will free it up a bit, and we'll just uh, we'll just bump that rate up to twenty four. Now, the, the main process while we're doing that is just freedom of movement, moving the hands, getting everything going, uh, and just looking for that ease of speed. So we're not trying to work significantly harder. Uh, the idea is that once we get into this, um, we want to try and be pretty consistent all the way through, so we get a nice. Uh, consistent speed as we go through uh, the workout okay um, so that's basically uh, that's basically the gist of today um, and we will just chat technique go all the way um, yeah it's 40 minutes okay it's a good stint um, it's right up there uh, but I thought it would be something quite good to do to just roll it out have that continuous workout going um, and it's always there to revisit if you like I'm not sure what I want to do then there's uh, 40 minutes all the way, okay? So, coffee down the hatch. Coffee's down the hatch. Um, yep, we will just do a couple of minutes of warm-up like we normally do, uh, which is really just going to help get that body moving, okay? I'm stiff and sore. I've been working my ass off trying to get this studio finished. It's been a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um and so, yeah, so now here we are, we're good to go. Um, let's try it out, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't think there's much that can go wrong, apart from, like, the internet obviously crashing out, but then I'd give my, um, I'd give my Sparky a bit of a hurry up if that's the case, um, because he's the one that put all the fibre and everything in. Um, just want to get nice and... Smooth, get it warmed up. Okay, so we'll do a couple of minutes. Just notice that we're a bit dusty here. Eric's a bit dusty on the on my seat. That feels better. Better already. Okay. So just getting that freedom of movement as we start off. Nice. Control, just loosening out as we get a little bit more flexibility. Continuous motion, always the number one thought process while we're on the rowing machine, okay? Never stopping, trying to eliminate too much jerky movements like that. Really looking for this roll. The smoothness that we can apply. Okay, as we lengthen out the stroke. Just keep feeling for the seat coming underneath. Okay, remembering that we want to let this machine, the flywheel, and the chain really just help draw us back to the front so we don't have to feel like we're making and forcing this recovery. Ride that speed forward. Nice, easy movement. Just getting this body flowing. Okay, stretching that. In that sequence and set up. Okay. The last part here of the warm up. Just start to squeeze it on a little bit. Do that push. Good. 
Nice rhythm. Okay, a couple more. Okay, that'll do. Right. Okay, so as I mentioned, rhythm, continuous motion, really good flow, good process is what we're after. Really looking to just get into this metronomic rhythm where we're just going back and forward. We're just getting that flywheel to speed, and then we're just tapping across the top. We're just hanging off it. Okay, this will give us a really, really good chance today to just feel this hang, see how long we can hold it, okay? And when we do go up, remembering it's all about the freedom of movement, freedom of speed, that's how we get more rate. Freedom, just adding a little bit of more acceleration to the legs, feel that body come through, okay? We'll break this whole stroke down as we go. Okay, easy game. Beauty, okay, let's go. Quick drink, we're not gonna have much time, well, we've got no time to have a drink while we're doing it. If it's hot or whatever where you are, yes, okay. If you want, get through, quick sip while you're rowing, um, halfway if you need to. Otherwise, let's see if we can nudge it right out all, all the way. Here we go. Wash the coffee down, you beauty. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna go to the select workout. Okay, new workout. We're gonna go single time today. Okay, uh, 40 minutes on the screen. Uh, just leave it flashing there for a second while we get set. Okay. If you want to on this as well, you can change your split length. Um, eight minutes is fine. Um, but if you want to, you can take it down to fives. Uh, you could take it less, you could take it more, you could take it 10 minutes, uh, and then that'll give you an idea of what you're doing when you go back into your memory. Uh, obviously, eight's fine, no biggie. But when you're doing workouts, even just uh, single time, single distances, you can always change your splits. Um, and it's a really good way of just breaking that down, making sure when you go back and you analyze, you know what you're doing, okay? Right, checkbox is done. 40 minutes on the clock. Here we go. Okay. Set him ready. Right, A row. Okay, so four and one. Down to that 35 when it clicks over 35, five, nine. And we're gonna free it up for that minute. Okay, but let's just start here. First and foremost, getting into this rhythm, getting onto the rating. Rolling back and forward. Starting with this hang. Okay, nice long arms. We use these arms as the extension of the stroke. We've got that grip strength and that hang strength. So if we leave the arms and hands out, we can focus on the stability and the connection through the core, through the muscles, and we can extend out, we can open out the stroke. Okay, we get the compression at the front here, and then we open out on that drive. Okay, good. So sitting into this rhythm, continuous motion. Smooth roll into the catch.
Okay, try and make this movement around the front smooth and continuous, not in and grab. Okay, remembering that we don't load it at the front. Sorry, we load it at the front, but we're not trying to max it off the front. Remember that we want connection, but we are creating that speed through the drive. Okay, the force curve is not at its peak until the body and the legs are driving there. Okay, so let's feel these feet as we roll into the catch. Feel the change and pressures. You'll feel it against your toes. Rolling smooth. Okay, good. Remember these handles around the finish. We want to brush the body. Hands then roll away, lead out. Okay. So let's bring it up. Just tap it along, up to 24, roughly. Now, so don't force it, just let it come, feel that extra speed. Okay, don't work, don't feel like you're working harder. Hand speed, roll forward a little bit quicker. Drive speed, the acceleration. Okay, the legs are going down quicker. Okay, breathe. Hand movements. Okay, now down. So breathe. Take our time, take the patience as we come forward. Back onto that 20 rate rhythm. Okay, open the mouth. Okay, good. Okay, so we've got that control back again. Patience. Nice. Okay, good rhythm. So if we think about this recovery, let's think about the relationship between the handle and the seat. Once the handles have Initiated the recovery sequence by brushing the body, moving the way out over the knees. The handle and the seat, we should feel like have an imaginary connection between the two. Okay? We don't want this to go faster, but we don't want the seat to get quicker than the handle. From there, together. Okay? And we've just got control in our appendages, in the hands. We can feel this resistance pulling us back to the catch, back to the flywheel.
and we move with it at one speed. Okay, we want to feel like once these knees softly break and we are riding that slide back to the front, one speed. Yes, there's deceleration right there, but we don't want to be like really quick and then slowing into the front. Try and make it feel one movement. One roll. Okay. This is the continuousness of the stroke. Rolling forward. Feel ourselves get into that position at the front. We're not reaching for any more. Okay. We're just rolling to there. Rolling to the point where we can't compress anymore. That's our change point. Okay, think about that for a little bit. Because then, once we understand this recovery and the smoothness and this continuous motion flowing forward, then we can work on the ease and the smoothness of this change in direction around the front, which is the catch, okay? So, we've worked on the setup and this roll forward. So when we go up and right, spread up, just move these hands quicker, travel a little bit faster forward, think about leg speed. Ready, now, ready, so travel forward, Accelerate the legs. Okay, so without thinking about working harder, we just move quicker. And there's our 24. Good. Feel the hang, okay, keep those arms long. Brush that body. Hands lead away. Good. Nice. Okay, patience on the way down. Now. So feel the drive time now, so how long the legs take as we press against that football. Good. Okay, this is nice. Nice, smooth motion. Okay, open the mouth. <clears throat> Good. Okay, so we, in the last block, we talked about this relationship. We keep that going. But now we want to feel how smooth around this front, we can change the direction, okay? We don't want to come in, stop, and then really yank it off the catch. As we're coming in with that compression, we're like, can't go any further. I'm gonna to start to press away, okay? For anyone new here, we talk about the spinning top, you know, you create the speed with that string, makes it spin. This is very similar. We can't make it go right there from the front, okay? We have to increase through the stroke. So if we have long arms, which has been created by the setup, we're out here, <coughs> we can use that hang that smoothness of the take-up, 
the connection through the core and we open the body out. We use those legs to drive the body open. Okay, feel that for now. Okay, all while hanging on this handle, keeping that hang. Trying to eliminate too much of this. Okay, trust, trust our hang strength, trust our grip strength to just really leave it out there. Use that body, okay? See how smooth we can make that front. Okay, yes, there's a point there where we have to stop because we're changing direction. We want to make it almost feel like it does just move around the front. Okay, and press and press and push and press push. Okay, all while hanging under here. Let's arm it. If we start to feel ourselves doing this, shoulders coming up towards our ears. Just back it off a bit. Really think about that low, the weight under here, under the shoulders. Okay, good. Okay, free it up now. So with that in mind, move quicker, focus this front end, focus that change in speed here around the catch. Good. Move these hands, keep them flowing around the back. Nice. Okay, really good rhythm. Good motion. Hands flowing out over the knees. Hands lead the body away. <clears throat> good. Okay, down. Breathe as we press it down. Good. We get back onto this rhythm. Okay, breathe. Self check. Feel the motion. Feel this hand. Good. Remember that smooth change around the front? Good. Okay, so we've had good work on this chain and everything drawing us back. Speed, the hands and the seat. Okay, even just look down sometimes and have a think. Is it the same? Okay, we've worked on this front. Let's roll in and this press and hang. So, all the other bits combined around those fundamentals of the stroke, okay? They help us keep it continuous, but there's so much else that helps keep that rhythm also. Okay? One thing to think about, if we're really having to think about bringing this handle into the body, we potentially haven't used the body motion through here well enough. Okay, the swing of the stroke. 
So we're getting to the finish. We're wanting to add more. Okay, we can't add more if we've got a nice long hang with the stroke. Okay, this is why we talk about this hang down here in the lats, under the armpits, away from this. Okay, we use that hang, the long arms left out in front. And as the body swings through the middle, we get to a point where we've used the body swing and all the arms are doing is drawing that handle to us to set ourselves up for the next stroke, okay? Nice. Remember, the speed the handle comes into the finish is pretty much the speed that it starts traveling out again. Okay, so we don't want to stop and push it out quick. Roll it around the front. Sorry, roll it around the back so it comes out in front of us. We've got supple knees. So the knees just nicely break without being jerky, okay? Our legs are straight, but they've got suppleness to them. Okay, good. Nice set up. Okay, and just like that, we're down to our last minute before the half. Spread up. Now, so all these things we've been working on, just free it up without working too hard. All I'm trying to do is increase the movement speed of my stroke. Okay, I'm breathing into it. We're just doing more strokes per minute. And that's giving me my speed change. Good. Really nice. Good work, team. Keep those handles moving. Freedom around the finish. Okay. Down, let it slow down naturally. Might take five or six strokes. We feel the speed. Flywheel. We've got control here on the way forward to hold the rating at 20. That's our patience. Okay, breathe into it now. It's good. <clears throat> okay, stay loose. Stay relaxed. Go downhill. Nice, easy speed. Patience. We move. We flow. Really good. Okay, so now we're back onto this rhythm. Really work on. The continuous, the continuous nature of the stroke, the continuous motion that we're trying to create. There's end points, yes, but we've got to make them feel like they're not end points. Okay, we don't want to be here and then here. We've got to really find the motion to create that continuation here.
We hold that core stability around the finish. As the handles change direction. Okay, if anything, having a small movement around there helps with that setup coming forward. Okay, rather than too much straight in and out, we can really feel like there's this loop happening with the stroke. Okay. Feel that hand, the handle in the seat again. Feel that relationship as we roll forward. We can start the recovery with a little bit of pull on the feet, on the toe strap. But then as we roll forward, because we've created this momentum around the finish, we're almost at the mercy of what we've done. To smoothly roll into that front. Okay, think about that. Create that momentum. Round here, then roll. Create and roll. Smooth. Nice. There it is. Nice and flat with that draw, with the chain right through on that drive. Keep it real parallel. Okay, free it up. Here we go. Now, so feel, feel the momentum now. The hand speed. Handle speed in, handle speed out. Nice, think about that. Breathe. Okay, remember, don't work too hard. Yes, we're working. But we should be thinking about speed. Freedom of movement. And then the heart rate naturally comes up from the extra pace that we're creating with our rating. Good. Okay, patiently, taking it down. Now, let it come down over a few. Flywheel still there. We just take control back with the patience on this rate, on the recovery. Good. Okay, so we've been working on the setup, the handles, around the finish, out over the knees, soft knee break. This relationship as we roll into the catch. Handle. Seat. Good. Okay, so <clears throat> feel the compression. <clears throat> feel the seat that does come underneath us. There. Roll. There. And we're in a position at the front where we feel stable. Strong, connected. We feel the weight there on both feet. Feel the symmetry down the line. Okay, right down the line. There. And just remember, as we roll in, make it feel natural. If we're not as flexible, don't come in and try and reach for any more. Be content with wherever it is that we get to and then smoothly pick that flywheel up 
and create there through the middle. So we connect smoothly with the flywheel. We make the speed happen through the stroke. Okay. We've got the feet against the footboard. We're holding the hands out long. And we're sitting back, pressing back, feeling the speed increase through that drive. Okay? Just take a moment, listen to the flywheel. You can hear it go, woo. It just shows you where the speed creation is happening. It's through the stroke, not right from the front, through the push and swing, body weight. We hold that body forward here, and we stretch it out, going from that 11 o'clock through to that one o'clock position. As we press against that footboard. That good. Nice. Okay. Ready to free it up. Keep that same process. Open the body. Now, accelerate. Accelerate, move quicker. Good. Now, once that flywheel is up to speed, what are we doing? We're tapping. Got the speed going. Tap it along. Good. Open the mouth. Good, one motion. All right, press, okay, take the time. To our last 10 minutes, okay? Break everything down again. Really focus this last piece into home. Okay? Fatigue setting in. Starting to get tired. We keep these motions going. Keep the process. Lock in any of these new changes, small changes you've made. Try and hold back some old habits that start to creep in as we get tired. Okay, brush the body. Flat hands. Okay, we want to try and make this chain as parallel as we can, okay, <clears throat> if the chain lifts up on the drive, we're normally lifting, okay, if it drops here with the hands, means that we're sort of dropping the shoulders into the front, nice and parallel, use that bungee and the recoil to our benefit. We've got control with the hands. Hands flow out, soft knee break, out over. Start that process of getting the body forward through here. Good. The recovery, if we get ourselves into the right position without 
thinking about having to work hard to do it, it allows more energy to be used on the drive to make the machine actually move, okay? So, we call it a recovery. It is a recovery. We still have control. And it sets us up there. And then you feel the push. Good. Nice rhythm. Good flow. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good motion. Never stopping. Nice and continuous. <clears throat> really good. Hands. Brush the body in a way. Feel the recoil. Use it. Roll into the front. Feel the feet. Patience. Right at the catch. Good. Okay. Ready to free it up. Remember, tap it along. So we're doing this one. Now. Move the hands a bit quicker. Hands and seat ratio. It's a leg speed, not leg power. There it is. Okay, flywheel's moving. Tap it along. That's the goal. <clears throat> Tap. Good rhythm. Good motion. Okay, breathe. Take the patience now, let it slow down naturally. Might take five or six, seven or eight. Let it happen. Okay, the idea is not to just let the power straight off, but keep moving with the flywheel and then holding the patience of the recovery. Okay, good. Right, so we're down just over four minutes. Bundle it all together. Hold the form. Hold the posture. Roll with it, okay? Mind over matter. Keep these movements. Movements over speed, okay? Don't worry if it's slowing a little bit. Keep focused on the process. Smoothness. The continuation of the stroke. Good. Good motion. Okay, breathe with me. Open the mouth. Relax the face. No grimace. Good. Hang long. Right, right back to the, the basics. Long arms under the armpits.
feet come in underneath. Right to that compressed point. Right there. Smoothly. Change that continuous motion around the front. And then increase that speed through the drive. Speed of the body. Okay. We're initiating with those legs right here. And we press. And then as we're pushing, the legs are driving the body through the stroke. All while keeping the hands and arms out front. They just need to connect. They're there for the hang strength. Lifting weights off the floor. Use that hang strength. Good. Nice. Really good. Good motion. Roll with it. Breathe. Really good. Okay, last minute, we're just going to tap it along, hold the form of what we've been creating now, feel it, hang, feel the body with me, press, body motion through the drive, Work that drive, relax your recovery. Feel that ratio. Good. Right, another 12 strokes. Hold this all the way. Freedom. Relax that face. Right down to the line. Beauty. Right. Okay, don't stop. Just roll it out, okay? Take our time here in the recovery. Nice. Okay, great effort. Really good. Okay, great distance, hope you guys got great distance there over that time. Felt strong, okay, some days we feel good, some days we don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been working my ass off, but I actually felt pretty good today. Okay, it's good focus. It's a great way in terms of what we did today of breaking up uh, longer continuous sessions. We don't have to go, we're not the, the aim of a session like today. We don't get to that 24 and work our ass off. We get to that 24 and we feel how we can make that speed increase <clears throat> with a minimal amount of extra effort, okay, by using the fundamentals of how we create more speed, which is more rating, okay? Which is that freedom of flow. Moving quicker on the recovery, quicker on the drive. The more strokes per minute we're doing at the same number of watts gives us more speed, okay? And that was the goal of that 24, is to not only break it up, but just take the process of what we were doing and thinking about, which was getting that set up, soft knees, rolling forward, then all of a sudden having to do it quicker, okay? Having to move a little bit faster, getting the hands away and rolling forward a little bit quicker. <clears throat> and just practicing that while we're doing 
a nice roll, nice continuous uh, piece. Okay, and you get back onto the rhythm, you get back onto the speed at 20 that you were doing previously, but you've just had a minute or so, you know, half a minute off the other side to let it roll down. Of just extra freedom of thought, of understanding. Okay, and a lot of times what we're trying to do on the machine is getting our own interpretation and understanding a lot of from what I'm saying and how that relates to you and you on the machine, okay? Because we're all different. We're all different heights, ages, sexes, strength, fitness, whatever, okay? Flexibility. And it's just understanding what the machine's doing and what we do to affect it. And that's generally the main goal that we should try to achieve every time we jump on the machine is getting ourselves, can we get ourselves a little bit better? Can I hold my form a little bit better than I did yesterday or not let it wane as much as we get closer to that finish line uh, and the fatigue sets in, okay? And that's, and that's us. That's what we're trying to achieve. <clears throat> so keep that thought process. When we're on here, using those, the bits and pieces, this recovery, we've just got to get our body into that position from doing this with a soft knee break. And then we've just got to ride it forward. The better we get at riding this forward, the better we get into this position here around the catch where we can connect and then open through that drive. <laughs> okay, if we're, if we're not set or we're a little bit cramped or we go for extra, we never just ride this forward. We never get that, that ease of rhythm on the way to the catch. Okay, because we're sort of fighting it. We're fighting it. Rather than just being like, you know what? Yep, boom. Ride. Ride that recovery. That should be our rest. It's our rest period. We always talk about it. That work and that rest ratio. Having control as we come into the front. And then that allows us on that drive to just have that connection. And then that swing through the middle. Okay, it's so important to be thinking about how we're producing that speed on the machine. Okay, it's not happening from there, okay? We can use way too much energy by thinking about that part there, whereas we can have that take up and then through the middle, once the body starts coming in, that's where we're going to find our speed. <clears throat> okay? Whew. Hot and sweaty. New studio worked pretty well. Once we're set up in a good frame, she'll look real good. Okay. Um, yep, good session, team. Uh, great to be able to do a continuous workout. Um, I don't think we've done one for quite a while, hence why I thought, you know what, it's probably time we we chucked one uh, back into the into the mix. Um, seeing who's out here, 40 minutes. Oh, Ellie, was, she was a bit scared at the start. Hopefully... Um, I've already finished four minutes before Eric. Did you? Jeez. Hopefully that's uh, maybe maybe you need to check the old screen clock or something on that one. Um, I don't think mine's that bad. <clears throat> um, yep, Robro did go in a blink of an eye, and I think that's one thing to to obviously think about as well. Is yeah, it is hard. You know, when you're doing it by yourself, when you when you're in your own gym, garage, wherever you are. Uh, it, it does take a lot, and sometimes by throwing in bits and pieces like this, doesn't necessarily need to be there. It can be every, can it be a nine and one. <coughs> okay, so you get down to that thirty one, and then it clicks over to thirty point five, and you go. Okay, and you just chuck something in there, which is like a just a something to to free it up, to speed it up, um, and it just takes and it just breaks that things up. Uh, New Studios Majestic, we noticed the little things like the mouldings uh, between the walls and the floor, impressive. Yeah, look, negative detail. Don't you like that? I even painted it black and behind. Did a great job. I won't show you a couple of bits up the top because we're about three or four mil out in a couple of the intersections. Not happy, never mind. Uh, that's right, though. I'm not a builder, but I did it well. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Chris. Um, Debbie, thanks. Felt good after being off poorly. Uh, lost your mojo. Yep, get it back. 
take your time. Don't worry about it, okay? And I think that's one thing as well. <clears throat> Remember, if you're not feeling it, sometimes it's better just to do a little bit than it is to do nothing, okay? But then other times, you know, if you're really not feeling it, just take a break, go back to bed. Been there, been there, done that. Uh, Belda, thank you, great session, Edward. Michael, did I understand correctly that keeping the same watts but increasing stroke rate will generate a quicker split? 100%. It's all math. Um, the, the idea, right, and it's... Um, uh, it's easy to explain with a graph, but if we're producing... Um, if you look at in terms of, uh, like, your... Um, if, if you look at it in terms of like how much power you're producing during training to what you'd be producing when you're doing say 2k pace or or, or like full speed <clears throat> um, it's not even double I would I would argue to believe that it's even double okay so when you look at it um, you, you you feel like you're producing so much more effort but it's not that much more watts okay but if you take if you take 100 watts per stroke <clears throat> and you're doing it 20 times, <clears throat> do the math, okay? That's 2,000 watts per minute. You do 100 watts, but you do it 30 times, that's 3,000 per minute, okay? And this screen is measuring how many per minute or per 500 that we're doing. So all you've got to be thinking about, and this is the common misconception, is that people think to get the rating up, we've got to work a lot harder. We don't have to work a lot harder. Yes, we, we have to work a little bit more because the only way to get acceleration of the leg drive is, is to have acceleration of the legs. But that's where the, 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 that's where the speed comes from. It's not like all of a sudden, I've got to work quite a lot harder than I was before. You're actually just speeding things up and you're adding a small amount of watts, might be 20 watts, which is like... A, a minimal, absolute minimal, 15 watts, but you're doing it a lot more times, and that's what gives you that speed on screen, okay? So that's really what you've got to think about. Uh, tapping and fluid control, big help. Yep, remember that, um, Ellie, it's when we're on the machine, the, the flywheel is moving, okay? And when you finish and you can hear it, it just it's, it's, it's always going, okay? It doesn't just stop. It takes a minute or even, I don't know how long a flywheel takes to slow down. When we're picking up, all we're trying to do is the flywheel starts slowing down. If we, same again, right? You get it up to speed and it's gonna slowly go down, okay? And it's pretty linear. So somewhere along that line, we wanna just pick that up again and then create it. So it's like a sine curve, right? It just goes like this and it goes again and it goes again. Um, and our goal is to not let it get too far down here because if we let it get too far down here, if we lose, if it's dropping two or three revolutions every second, if we drop just a little bit, it's more that we have to, to pick up, okay? And that's the whole thing is that's what we're trying to achieve around the front end. And we're doing that by smoothness, okay? We're not doing it by, by trying to add so much power right off the catch. So it's just packing that speed up, okay? And that's what we're trying to achieve. Uh, felt pretty good at the end. Thanks, John. First live. Thanks, Robin. Welcome. Uh, plenty more. Uh, DIY finds the other 15% of muscles. Oh, Doug, you've got no idea, man. I've got so much more shoulder strength from holding stuff up in the air for the last week, I tell you. Uh, good to be back, mental focus. Brilliant. Uh, 24 strokes is easier than 20 for me. 100%, John. Um, <coughs> the one, the reason I personally believe that 20 strokes is, is quite a good place is because it teaches us time and patience okay and then it, and it allows us to train through different parts Rowing along at 24 yeah it's, it's quite a lot more freedom and stuff like that but it's it's it doesn't give us it, it blocks off the top level okay so what we're trying to do is create our, our training our training stuff here and our sprint stuff here which is this is what we're trying to do for our pbs and everything if we close that gap to being here it's a very short it's only say 20 to, 24 to 34 but if we can go from 20 to 34 there's more space there's more room um there's more understanding of rhythm here 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 all the way through um and and it is something 
that a lot of people have different preferences with. Um, but in terms of training, I do like that 20, 22. It's really free. gives us time to think about the production, the rhythm, the flow. Okay, And then once we get up a little bit above that, now we've got that flywheel moving. We can feel that pace and we can go for it. Okay, And yeah, today, absolutely, when you get to that 24, it should have felt quite easy. It should have been like, you know what? It's quite, it's quite nice. Tap it along. We're only doing it for a minute, but we come back off it. Um, and that was the whole goal. Uh, good workout. I was tired at the end, but I did pick it up in the last five minutes. Great work, Alan. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> okay, team. Um, thank you. Uh, I think that's us for today. Um, hopefully by next week, we'll have this all set up. I think the frame looks all right. Probably just need to bring it slightly, put that on the wall so we're not sitting on the toolbox. Um, yeah, but that's, uh, I think this is us. Okay, we're getting it um, set up, ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, as I say, it should just look a little bit new for a while, uh, but don't worry, same old Eric Murray here, uh, teaching you guys some good uh, thought processes. That's what I'd like to say. Thought processes about technique, about how to do things, so that you can take it away and interpret it and use it how you can do it, okay? And remember that, keep that in mind. We're all different. Make sure that you get that understanding for yourself and how it works for you. At the same time, as starting to learn, and as you're doing it, go, oh, that was better. I, I felt that round. Oh, I feel that with my hand. Oh, I've got a better. Jeez, I just dropped a split by thinking about more freedom or whatever it is, okay? And learn those. When you get good changes, think, okay, what did I do? When it's going bad, what am I doing wrong? What can I do to change? Whatever. Okay, and it is, it's a, it's a never-ending process of analysation while you're using this machine, okay, to make you better, faster, fitter, stronger, achieve whatever goals that you're trying to do, okay? And that's why me and the Sensei team are here to help you. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, I'm off, got to go do some work. I've got a young guy who's doing a 2K test today. I've uh, been coaching him along, uh, lightweight, and his aim is 610. So his progress has been pretty good, and we'll see what he can do today, and hopefully that can put him in with a uh, chance to get into a national team. So that's where I'm off to. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys back here next week. Okay, so thank you very much again. Stay safe. Uh, until next time, enjoy. Keep it up. Peace out.